My name is Sharon Phillips. I'm 52 years of age. I'm a part-time barmaid and I work on school transport for children with special needs and disabilities. As a child, you know, if I think back now, I was so known as a clumsy child and couldn't do things that other children could do in PE, catching balls and things like that, but nothing was ever spotted. And even through my teens and into our adulthood, I'd had my first three children, and after my fourth, I wasn't well at all. So it really threw me to the Royal Marsden in London. And when I was there, they started looking different parts of my body, looking and mentioning the birthmarks, little nodules and spots all over my chest, which I just thought was part of me as well. And then they came and said if I'd heard of neurofibromatosis, NF1 for short, which obviously happened. It was quite a big word, I'd never heard of it. After I was diagnosed, we went for genetic counselling. Then they started receiving my children one by one and they started getting diagnosed, which was a big relief to me because I knew the children had problems. I didn't realise at the time when I was first diagnosed I had increased risk of breast cancer. It's when I spoke and my NS specialist up in Geisen Hospital in London. So she advised me to go and ask my GP. Well, he um, sent a letter in and I'd have a letter back then from Breast Care Wales, I think he was. And refused him, they said if it was no increased risk. And stupidly, I didn't fight it, which I think I should have. So I was called up when I was 51, I think, but that was delayed due to the backlog from COVID. So I was later on it again, and they actually postponed my first mammogram about four times. They first diagnosed with pre-invasive cancer at stage 0 to 1, so I'd had to go back to have a lumpectomy. But when I went back from the results then, they'd spotted an invasive cancer hidden behind the pre-cancer. Up until now, we've stayed away. But I won't have my all clear, I think, for five years. We can't come to mission until five years. But uh, I'm on try plenty of preventative medication now. Some of the GPs I've seen are a little bit knowledgeable about NF1, just NF1. But with a link with NF1 and increased risk of breast cancer, I don't think so because they seem to think if you've got any lumps in your breast, it's just from your NF, it's not, you know, it's not breast cancer. I strongly believe if I had the scans when I first went, they would have found the cancer before we came evasive and I wouldn't have to go through two ops and what I actually went through. I mean, my whole pre for this campaign, I wouldn't want anyone else to go through what I've been through.